Hey guys, welcome Whiteboard Wednesday. Coming back at you today, I'm going to be following on from what we spoke about last week around offset and redraw accounts and talking through the how you can sort of work out whether the offset account or a redraw account um, or your home loan at the end of the day is the best place to park any surplus money. Now, let me say off from the onset, uh, from the, um, the onset that I'm not a financial planner and when we're talking about offset accounts and rates of return, etc., we're delving into that particular space. So what I talk about today, I want you to go and speak to your accountants, your financial advisors to ensure that it, firstly, that it makes sense and secondly, that it's relevant and right for your personal circumstance. So let's get into it. So you'll see from last week, I've still got the circles up there. Um, what I want to talk about is, okay, regardless of whether it's a, a redraw, a loan account with a redraw facility, or whether it's a, a loan with an offset account attached. Let's talk about the, pro, the, the, the merits or how you can start to work out whether it's the best place to park your surplus cash. So let's use an, uh, an example of an interest rate of 4.5%, which is around about where they're at at the moment. Uh, and the question we're asking ourselves is, should it go into the home loan or should the money go elsewhere? Um, I've picked a random figure. I don't even know why I've picked a figure of $4,000. But let's use the example that you come across four grand. You have a big win at the pokies, only joking. You get an inheritance, let's say, uh, of 4000 bucks from grandma. And she says, what do you, and you say, okay, what am I going to do with it? Well, if you went and dumped that 4000 bucks into your home loan, over the next 12 months or offset account, you'd save yourself around about 180 bucks. Now, one thing that people sometimes don't really get is a buck saved is a buck made. I get that saving money is not as sexy as making money, but the reality is in this situation, you've saved yourself 180 bucks and it's like making yourself 180 bucks. Now, if I decided not to go and take Nan's inheritance and put it into my home loan, and I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do something else with my 4,000 bucks, what sort of rate of return would I need to get to be able to clear 180 bucks. Now, what you've got to understand is that I've got to clear 180 bucks. So if I went and invested it in some shares or a term deposit or what have you, remember I'm going to have to pay tax on it. So I want 180 bucks left over after tax. Now, for me to be able to do that, to work out how much I would need to earn, it really depends on what your, your marginal rate is. I'm just going to use an example of about of 30%, which is the marginal tax rate for someone up to about 80,000 um, bucks. So for me to hold on to 180 bucks after tax, I would need to earn $240, okay? So my $4,000 investment would need to earn me 240 bucks so I could keep 180. Now 240 on 4,000, that's around about 6%. Now, think about this. There's no online saving accounts out there and we see plenty of people with this sort of setup that save up money in a little holiday account, which is cool, it's fine, but if it's about, say, about putting your money to best use, you know, they've got to be in online saving accounts. I haven't seen any that are paying 6%. Transactional accounts pay absolutely nothing. So unless you're going to put this four, and same with term deposits. So unless you're going to put this 4,000 bucks into another asset that's got some growth component to it, as well as a, as well as a, re, a yield return on it, the best place to park your money, more often than not, risk-free, is into your home loan account or into your offset account. Because at 6%, there's nothing else that, there's nothing else that competes. Thanks for your time. I look forward to uh, catching up with you the next week. Next week, we're going to be talking about the true benefit. And I did speak, a I touched on it last week, the really true value and why an offset account, or when, I should say, an offset account is most appropriate for you. Cheers.